Hi, my name is Hung. And I'm Suba. And welcome to our Harbor Tour. Hello world! Welcome back to my channel. This is Hung and today I'm with my blogmate Suba. Today is the last wellness day of the pandemic semester. I'll go into more of that later. But we decided to make a special video for you guys, uh, which is to show you around the Harvard campus. So let's go! I mentioned earlier about wellness day. It's basically days during the semester that we don't have class, all meetings, online activities are cancelled so that students can take a break from screen and catch up with work. It's basically a replacement of our spring break. So this is the real New England weather. It's kind of gloomy, but we start to see some shades of green because it's spring here on campus. So we are currently in Harvard Yard. This is the area where a lot of the residential buildings, classrooms, libraries, and other university buildings are located. And I'm currently with my blockmate, Suba. You've seen my other blockmates in my previous videos. And so here's my other one. Hi guys. So Suba, where are we currently? So currently we're in the section of the yard with a few um, freshman dorms. I don't remember the names of all of them, but I remember this is Strauss and behind me is Gray's. And the yard is like the heart of freshman life, but once you become an upperclassman, you really only come to the yard to get to your classes. But for freshmen, there's a lot of activities going on and it's really where you get to connect and hang out with your peers. go to Grace Hall if you want to get free hugs. Okay, so we are here at the John Harvard statue. It's the third most photographed statue in the entire United States behind the Lincoln Memorial and the Statue of Liberty in New York. But around here is actually known as the Statue of Three Lies. So look at the inscription over here. It reads John Harvard, founder, 1638. And for one of the lies, I can actually tell you straight away that John Harvard is not the founder of the university. Harvard University is founded by the Massachusetts Bay Colony. And the other two lies, what are they? Well, comment down below and let me know and stick to the end. It will be revealed toward the end of the video. O Yard is where the majority of the first year dorms are located. There are 17 of them in total and 12 of them are right here in the yard, whereas the other four takes a little five to 10 minutes to walk to the dorms. So it's not that far away. We are currently entering Johnson Gate. Uh, Johnson Gate was built in 1889 and it is the oldest gate in Harvard Yard. So follow me here. 
It's quite crowded today in the yard because. Excuse me, where is the crowd? Not a lot of. Not not so crowded. I'll take that back. <laughs> not a lot of students are having classes, so they're probably asleep right now. So, yeah, here's the full view of Johnson Gate. It is currently opened, but it's not opened, you know, all the time during the semester. Legend has it that it's only open twice a year. First is when all the freshmen are moving in, you know, with their backpacks, luggage, books, get ready to enter college to start their college career. And the second time is when they are outgoing seniors with a diploma in the hand. Just imagine this is a diploma. Yeah, so people said that walking through the gate anytime, which besides those two times are considered bad luck. But you know what? I've walked through that gate so many times and I'm still here, I'm a junior. I'm graduating next year and um, I personally don't think that the superstition is true, but whatever people say. Okay, let's go. It's Suba and it's another day because I was severely underdressed last time we filmed, but I'm back and I'm warm. So we are currently in Science Center Plaza in front of the Science Center. And this is the main building where Harvard students take their science and math classes. There are a ton of floors. I'm not sure how high it goes, but it's very high. And there are a lot of labs where students uh, do their experiments and also just learn about whatever fields of science and math up they're interested in. If you ever want to take classes in different Harvard buildings, I don't recommend doing only STEM courses because most of them will be in the science center. Hello. It's the last year. This is for my class. PS 11? Oh. Yeah. So Suba, how do you feel um, having been in the Sun Center after a little over a year? Yeah. It's sad. I didn't realize how much time I spent here. And it's crazy to see how quiet and empty it is. in front of Annenberg Hall. This is where first year come and eat with each other. We can't go inside right now since, you know, only first year are allowed inside the buildings. But you can imagine Annenberg as Hogwarts. It has everything except the floating candles. <laughs> right here is Queenhead's pub. On Wednesdays, they have 50 cent wings, so it's a fun time. Make sure you come down there when you visit. Hi guys, we are here in New York. New York is where the majority of the classroom buildings and libraries are located. And behind me is Memorial Church. Memorial Church was built in 1932, originally for religious purpose, and also in memory of Harvard soldiers who died in World War I, World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War. And nowadays, Memorial Church runs weekly Sunday service, and also a lot of the special ceremonies of students group, like the Latin Acts Convocation, Black Student Convocation, also happen in Memorial Church. Another name for this area is Tercentenary Theater. So if you can imagine 
the stairs of Memorial Church as a stage, then you can imagine the entire area over there, out there, as a theater. Oh, oh hello, Paul. Whoa, come here, do my video. Whoa, what, 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 what are you doing? Well, I'm just filming a, a, a vlog, a Harvard tour for, for students. Okay, hi there. Well, introduce yourself. <laughs> okay, my name is Paul. I'm a third year at the college, Sunny um, Chemical and Physical Biology, and I'm a friend of you know. <laughs> Yeah, why, why are you coming out oh. here and walking and stuff? I, I want to get some fresh air in. I've been stuck inside for too long. <laughs> <laughs> well, how has the semester been? The semester is going well. Uh, despite the isolation, I feel uh, that I get the support I need from my friends and my family. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, so this video is dedicated to the class of 2025 entering college. Do you have any message for them before they join the community? Uh, yes, uh, I do. I want to advise to choose classes that are beyond your comfort zone and be brave in choosing uh, different paths um, for self-exploration and get that transformative experience <laughs> and yeah just be courageous Welcome to the Whitener Library. So the full name is Harry Elkins Whitener Memorial Library. So this library was built in 1915 in memory of Harry Elkins Whitener, a Harvard graduate class of 1907. So when Harry was still alive, he loved books. He was a big, big bibliophile. So after he graduated, he decided to go on an expedition to collect rare books. And unfortunately, during one of the expedition, he actually passed away. And guess what? He went down, down, and down with the Titanic. Yes, you heard it right. He was on the Titanic. And the only survivor from the family was Mrs. Whitener, his mother. And she decided to donate all of the books that they collected during the expedition to Harvard with some conditions, one of which is that this library has to build in memory of Harry. And so it is here, and as you can see, it is massive with more than three million books and many, many stories below ground. So make sure to visit it when you come visit. So here's my freshman dorm, Stoughton Hall. This is where me and the majority of my block mates are from Sosuba. I'm, I'm the odd one out. So here's another chapel behind Stoughton, in between Stoughton and Hollis. Hollis looks kind of similar to Stoughton. For those of you who are interested in doing public service, that is the, what is it called? Sorry, I blanked out. Phillips Brooks House. Yeah, so they have all the resources, all the opportunities, so make sure to visit them when you're on campus. My patience for you is getting thinner Don't care if you're lonely again Just let me escape for a minute I want space, give myself a spaceship Kill gravity, but I wanna be weightless Suit up, I can't take this blast off I'm over the moon I'm loving this view Not thinking about you
So I'm on my way to see my friend Felix. I haven't seen him in uh, I think since last summer. So exciting! My name is Mei Yi. I'm a junior um, at Hong Set in Quincy House studying chemistry. Well, welcome to the community. We're very excited to have you. Um, and in terms of Harvard, there are a lot of resources that you can access here. And sometimes it can be overwhelming. So don't be afraid to ask for help. There are a lot of people here who want to help you, um, whether it's peers or advisors um, or people you meet um, in your entryway. So yeah, don't be afraid to reach out. What's up? Spoiler alert, my name is Felix. I live in Courier House, which is one of the quad houses back up behind us. I'm from Los Angeles. I'm an incoming junior and I study social studies. Well, first off, you know, take some deep breaths. It's very exciting. It's easy to get, you know, ahead of yourself. But the best thing to do is come in with an open mind. Don't think there's only one right way to do Harvard. You have to go and be competitive in organizations and whatnot. Not a fact. What is a fact is that you should just involve yourself in things you genuinely enjoy and everything else will kind of come from it. And lucky enough, you're at a place where you can find those things very easily if you just look for them. And talk to people, listen to people more importantly, because they are all smarter than you, as I have known. Uh, and they're all going to educate you on things you've never known in your life before. Uh, which makes you smarter and which makes you more happy about uh, the world and its little, little intricacies. <laughs> uh, and make good friends, hang out with them. Get the quad when you're housed because it's objectively, see even a Kirklander here agrees, it's objectively the best of the housing situation. <laughs> um, so enjoy yourself and don't feel too much pressure. Everything will be okay. Hey guys, it's Suba. Um, I just wanted to put this little clip in. Hung is doing great with um, her YouTube channel. You should guys, you all should go and support her. And incoming freshmen, welcome to Harvard. It's going to be an amazing four years, but also the hardest four years you will ever experience. But it's life changing and I hope you enjoy your time. But make sure you explore classes. Don't think, oh, I'm pre-med, I'm gonna do biology right off the bat because that's what your girl did. And now I'm a, almost, a, almost a senior and I don't like what I'm studying, so make sure you take your time. Okay, bye. <laughs>